So my name is Rodrigue and in this video we are going to cover how to size a circular storage tank. How to size water, a circular water storage tank. Now this will be a series of videos. That's number one. And number two, in each video we will, we will have a theoretical part of it and the uh, simplest way I can say. So the part one will be a theoretical part of it. Okay, by using formulas or I can say the manual way of sizing a water storage tank. And the next video possibly will cover uh, to use the same approach but by using Microsoft Excel. Okay, so possibly uh, the first video will have, um, let's say, how to size circular water tank manually. Then the following video or the video that will follow thereafter will cover the same approach on the first video but by using Microsoft Excel. As I said, this will be a series of videos. So please just watch from the beginning to the end. And hopefully, uh, you will not just have Microsoft Excel to simplify your work or to size uh, water storage tanks, but you will have a knowledge how to size uh, water storage tanks, circular water storage tank the right way. Okay. So in this video, we are, we are going to cover several topics. And the first one will be how to size water storage tank manually. So this will be a theoretical part of it. I assume that you design a, a water storage tank without using Microsoft Excel. So you will just use uh, using uh, normal formulas or you will do it manually. Okay. So the next video possibly will cover how to size by using uh, Microsoft Excel. From there, yes, you have the diameter, you have everything, and now you need to know a uh, number of bricks that you will require to build such a tank. Now, this is, will assume that we are not going to use a, we are not going to build our walls by using concrete. So this will, so this is a tank that will, uh, will be constructed by user by using uh, concrete blocks or bricks. So in this particular video, we will see how to prepare material or to prepare a number of bricks that will be required to build such a, such a storage tank. And again, as we all know that any water storage tank will have a foundation, which is a bottom slab and the top slab. Both bottom and top slab are built by using concrete. So in this video, possibly we are going to see how to uh, calculate the volume of concrete, which is required to build the top and bottom slab. After that, any concrete you will need possibly, you, will, you are going to need cement and sand and aggregate. So in this video, we are going to cover how to calculate the amount of cement and sand which will be required okay, to build the bottom and top slab. And possibly we will go even further to find the uh, amount of cement that will be required by, uh, to, for plastering work. Okay, so that being said, this will be a series of videos and hopefully that it will be very uh, helpful to you so please just watch from the beginning to the end as i said and hopefully in the next video we are going to see uh, how to uh, size a water storage tank manually i mean by using formulas and thereafter possibly will be followed by how to size water storage tank by using microsoft excel Okay, so just stick around. Hopefully, I'll be releasing videos once or twice a week, and possibly I'll do my, my best to make sure that this series is completed as soon as possible. So, until next time, I'll see you there.